Eyes in the sky, gazing far into the night. Hello YouTube, welcome to my channel. My name is Abby Scott. If you're new, welcome. If you're not new, welcome back. Today I'm showing you my skincare routine. This is something I implemented a little over a month ago. I've been doing every single day to help me get clearer skin. I was suffering through some hormonal acne, which honestly just needs some patience, but I've definitely been able to improve my skin, my skin tone, uh, the smaller blemishes since then as well. So I'm gonna share with you both my morning and night routine. So here we go. So first thing is, well, it's not always the very first thing. It kind of depends if I'm wearing makeup or not for the day, but you ice roll. You ice roll, so this I just kept in my freezer. Literally called an ice roller off the of Amazon. It's like 12 bucks. It's in my Amazon store, which is in the link below, but this basically is like really helpful for your lymphatic system, for redness, even this uh, helps prevent and kind of improve fine lines and wrinkles and wakes you up because it's cold. So, like I said, I just do it on a clean face, whether that's first thing when I wake up or if I'm not waking, wearing makeup, I'll do it after I wash my face. So, step one, ice roller. Okay, so I use a skincare routine called Averglow. Averglow. So that's kind of, let's see if I can, there we go, Averglow. First step is I use this clarifying hydration do, do to essentially instead of like rinsing my face off, you wet your face with this, so with like eight or nine sprays. It feels really good. Then you take Step two, so I like how they're all labeled, but step two is the Radiant Cleansing Network. You have to shake it up. Shake it up. Get a little pad thing. Basically, you just like put it on so it like, until you feel it kind of through your, through your finger, through the pad. Do it like four times or so. It's on the pad. And then you just, I'm not like super gentle because I do want it to help like exfoliate a little bit. So now what you're gonna see come off is any, probably anything that was left that I didn't get last night. Also my spray tan, especially around the edges. Put that on, really. Cleanse. Oh, Alright. So there we go. So see. Honestly, I washed my face last night, so my skin isn't that dirty. It's more likely my spray tan than anything coming off, but there you go. So you do that. And then the next step is I just got this, so I've just been using this for a few days. It is the toner. See if I can. Also, excuse my nails because I did them myself. Okay, so toner, same thing. Get a new little pad. This one like is like more comes out easier. Maybe it's just because I have more of it. So there we go. So toner. Oh again, I'm gonna. This one smells good. Kind of smells like, I almost want to say like a type of drink I can't think of, Capolomo or something, but get that all on my face. I'm really hoping, so my skin has improved a lot in terms of evenness and color. Um, so I'm really hoping that this helps me even more. Make sure I got everything. There we go. Okay, the next step is the moisturizer. So this is the Flawless Nourishment Cream. So basically, you just use a little spatula thing. You get like the size of like less than a pea. You put it between your fingers. So I just go like this. 
and then you want to like kind of put it around your face. Now, before you buff it in, they say spray yourself a couple of times again. And then you buff it in. So that's the morning routine. It's really easy. There's a couple more steps on the night routine, but I feel hydrated. And if you don't moisturize your skin, um, I remember, I guess like maybe last year or two years ago when I started paying attention to my skin more, the second I actually started moisturizing my skin, <laughs> my skin got so much more clear and just better. So moisturizing is super important. But yeah, that's my morning cleansing routine. I'm gonna show you quickly too what I put on for makeup kind of daily right now. It's really light, it's really perfect too for like going to the gym. I wear it because, as you can see, <laughs> not the same color. So I gotta even that out so I don't look a little off. But I'm gonna show you that, it's gonna be really quick and some really like low-key products too. darker in general so you don't need a lot but uh, when I go out and stuff I'll kind of pay more attention or I'll use an actual brow pencil but other than that this is kind of my everyday look again my skin since it's gotten so much better it just needs a lot less to look good so feeling confident with my makeup on again which is so exciting uh, but I'm gonna head to the gym now I'm gonna film this, but it's gonna be in another video. It's gonna be an upper body day. And then I am going to tonight film my makeup routine, or my, not my makeup routine, but my deep makeup routine. <laughs> I'm gonna film my nighttime skincare routine for you. And I hope it helps. And I'm gonna put all the products that I use, not the makeup products, because they're just drugstore makeup, to be completely honest. But um, I'll put all the products that I have used, including my skincare, the ice roller below. So if you are interested in anything, you can get those links below. But see you tonight. Okay, so before I show you my nighttime routine later on, I am going to talk about one product that I have been using for over, I guess it's been almost, it's been a month and a half at the, at the least. Maybe longer. Um, but I'm gonna talk about this product. Now, I don't wanna say that Yes, it helped me specifically clear up my skin because my skin did not clear up over time. Callie says hello. Hi. It didn't clear up like right, oh, it didn't clear up right away. So had it cleared up in like a week or something like that, I would have been like, yeah, this product is the number one reason why my skin cleared up, but that's not really the case. It did help, I feel like, clear up my skin faster from my breakout from my cycle. It did help me, I feel like, 
overall have less of a breakout and have that impact pretty quickly. But the thing is, and the honesty is, is when you come off birth control or when your hormones are out of whack and you're getting hormonal acne, a lot of it is patience and it just depends on your body. It can take six months for your body to regulate naturally so your hormones are going up and up and down. So you're gonna be breaking along breaking out along with it. So I think it absolutely helped me. I think it helped me balance out faster. Uh, just the ingredients in it, let's see, folate, um, chromium, dim, some other stuff. Um, I think it's all quality products that are meant to help hormonal balance. So I've been using, like I said, Alani New, um, I would say a month and a half and during the breakout that I had it helped it clear up faster it helped it kind of not be as bad and then after being a full month on it that cycle after it I only got like a very very few amount of breakouts uh, from it so I think it absolutely helped and it had also been over three months of being off hormonal birth control so that helps too so I'm gonna take that and I'm gonna take it with my greens now diet absolutely important as well um, so make sure you're drinking enough water just taking care of yourself so you can really eliminate all factors besides your hormones if you are struggling with hormonal acne eliminate all factors that could potentially um, make things worse so that you can be patient and know okay this is the number one reason why I'm breaking out and I just have to be patient it will get better so I do recommend this product I'll put it below, not like an athlete or sponsored or anything like that. I just genuinely purchase it. I'm on the reoccurring order just so that I don't run out. I'm not sure when I'm going to come off of it, but we will see. So, all right. See you guys tonight when I film my nighttime routine. Hello, everyone. So, it is the end of the day. Mike and I just went out to get Mexican food so I definitely put on some more makeup but I'm going to show you how I do my, my skincare routine at night so I'm just going to pull my hair back first and the first step that we're going to do is take off my makeup so I just started using this um it's the makeup remover by Everglow so I just got this but you just put a little squirty squirt it's like a gel and you go and take all the makeup off and it makes it pretty easy. So after this, I am gonna use like an actual cleanser. So it doesn't have to be perfect, but I'm gonna get another one. Just do it again. I did put a good amount of makeup on. I also got my eyebrows done so they're uh, not as uh, horrible as they were before. So pretty much got all the makeup off. So that's step one. Step two is back with the spray. Ten. Ten little sprays. Shake this baby up. This is the cleansing oil. Cleansing nectar. I'm sorry. Uno. Dos. Tres. Cuatro. Four times. Um, and rub that in. It's amazing, the the uh, faces that you make doing your skincare. All right, so I'm gonna do that one more time. Get another. So definitely at night, I make sure, or I double make sure that 
everything's clean. Um, before I was using the makeup remover, I used like a makeup wipe before the cleanser. But make sure everything is off. Uh, I think I got it all. So you can see. So I'll probably have to go in along my jaw a little bit better, but makeup removed. Okay, the next step is the perfectionist. Why don't that focus? The perfectionist serum. So I take a little dropper. Literally, I put a drop on all my fingers, press them together, and press into my face. Just like all around here. Then There we go. And then lastly, so this is the Clear Skin Elixir. It's like a lotion. There we go. It's like a lotion. Um, it's almost like a spot treatment or a mask. So I am just going to put it kind of right here where I'm breaking out, but I have put it all over my face. And what you do is you put a pump or two, so pump is fine for now, and you kind of just like lay it on and then you and then you leave it. I know. It's uh super 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 cute, right? So I've been putting it more on my chin. I'll put some up here. Some temples, but other than that, like don't really need it anywhere else. So that wraps it all up in terms of my skincare routine. Again, it's been a combination of these new products. It's been a combination of patience. It's been a combination of using balance, just getting everything on track. I do drink over a gallon of water a day. I eat really healthy foods like 90% of the time. Um, I don't have a lot of sugar unless it's like natural sugar in terms of fruit. So overall, I think I take care of my skin pretty well. Um, occasionally I will get like facials very uh, not often at all um, these products I think are very reasonably priced for being such high quality ingredients and having some like awesome awesome results I mean, my skin is just like glowing I don't know if you can really tell but highly recommend all these products again I'll put them in the description box below if you liked this video make sure you give it a thumbs up make sure you hit that subscribe button and make sure you tune in for next time because i like doing these i like doing these videos so until then see you later peeps